I've always been passionate about art since I was a child and uh, children's classes at the uh, Ontario Art Gallery and uh, visits to the McMichael Museum and there was never any question in my mind that I wanted to be a painter, I wanted to be involved in the art world. I always wanted to go to art school, I never wondered. Just a lot of good fortune brought me to Jasper and um, Mountain Galleries is about to have its 20th anniversary and I'm so incredibly fortunate to be positioned with the Fairmont Hotels. They really truly are a first class organization and Whistler, Banff and Jasper, they're all jewels in the crown of the Fairmont chain. We like to think of ourselves as one gallery with three locations and when we talk to people and they're interested in something I always think about what's hanging on the walls in Banff and what do we have at Whistler and we we like our clients to be aware of the inventory that we control. The clientele that we meet are from around the world and for the most part quite sophisticated collectors and they really appreciate what we have to offer. I, I honestly, in my lifetime, I can't believe that I had the opportunity to build this gallery at 3,000 square feet. And when I attended the World Lighting Conference this spring in May, it really ignited my imagination and thankfully technology had gotten to the stage where I realized that we could actually go green. And right now, the Jasper location is 97% LED, and the lights that you're standing under actually were only released three weeks before we opened, and they're dimmable LEDs. They don't give off any heat at all, and uh, there are no UV rays, so it's an incredibly comfortable environment to work in. We created this, what we call full daylight. Because of LEDs, and especially these new breed of LEDs, we are able to do that. We'll be able to create the effect of daylight any time of day and more importantly rather than trying to use it any time of day we actually are sequencing it with what really happens in the natural rhythm of day light to evening therefore that helps support this whole effect of daylight. We are in the business of selling memories and um, most of the artists that we represent are mid-career or older. And when you walk into the gallery, you'll see things that you might have been on a hike or gone for a raft trip down the Athabasca River or perhaps ridden the gondola, see the sky at Whistler and had a great view of the Black Tusk. And uh, you walk into the gallery and you see imagery that reminds you of the holiday that you're experiencing. One of the things we've done at Mountain Galleries in, in the Jasper location, we have the space to do it, is we've taken a whole corner and we've created a learning center. And we've got a library of Canadian art books and we have a, an easel and a watercolor station that we can drag out on rainy days to give classes. I've always thought that great art is when the physical marries with the intellectual. And that's really, really important to me. Sometimes um, we meet a lot of interesting clients and the success of Mountain Galleries is the diversity of our collection. We have everything from abstract impressionism to magic realism. And art is subjective and what one person absolutely loves, another person doesn't even see. And quite often a client will come in and they know what they're looking for. And if they find an artist that they fall in love with, we're very good at organizing a commission that will suit them well. And we absolutely guarantee what we do. 70% of our collection is made by Western Canadian artists, artists who live and work in Alberta and British Columbia, and certainly they're all Canadian. I have a few favorite artists from the East Coast and a couple from Ontario that we represent. And of course, um, Doris McCarthy, who be became a, a Canadian icon as a friend and mentor, who I met when I was very young in Toronto and studying in the late 60s. And Doris has come out to Jasper and gone traveling with me in south of Banff and down into southern Alberta. And um, it's been a, a real joy uh, promoting her work in Western Canada and making people aware of what a national treasure she is. Fairmont has given us the opportunity to create a marvelous space to promote Canadian art to the world, and I'm really proud of that.
Canadian art being surrounded by beautiful pieces. Um, every day coming to work is uh, just speaking to the people, our clients that come in. Their appreciation for art gives, gives me inspiration. It's, yeah, it's just a very creative environment. Well, one of the things that uh, we offer at the gallery is a 30-day trial. So uh, you can take the piece or deliver it to your home in Australia or down the, in Vancouver and so forth and uh, have it on your walls uh, for 30 days and if in that period you're kind of going like, you know, I'm not sure that this is really working for us, uh, you send it back our way and it's, uh, it's a money back guarantee. Our passion is promoting original works of Canadian art and great art deserves to be seen properly and I think we've created more than just a gallery, we've created an experience and it'll be an experience they won't forget.